Hey everybody, welcome back to Live Free in Toulon, and if you have been following my channel or any of the industry tool news, you know that the Ryobi link system with the mobile system and the wall system, they are shaking up the industry, and specifically they're shaking up for homeowners, and they're breaking into the professionals uh, as well. So with that today, I'm actually going to be comparing the Milwaukee Packout system against the new Ryobi link system. Now, a couple things right off the top. These two are direct competitors to each other. What I mean by that is that they are in the same dimensions and they kind of work on the same level to one another when it comes to storing tools and maneuvering them. These are both for the mobile systems, but they work on the walls just the same. So, uh, right off the bat, let's go over the cost. This is $45 and this is $80. So this is geared towards professionals, uh, guys in the field. They're going to use this on their professional jobs every day, all day. They leave it out in the winter. They leave it out in the rain all the time. I see them in the back of trucks all the time, and that's what you're going to see here. This this is IP65 rated. Uh, it's very new. I haven't seen it in anyone's back of their trucks. Uh, I'm not so sure that that would be such a great idea, but it does have gasketing on the inside. But uh, you know, we've talked about the pricing, we've talked a little bit about that. Let's talk about some of the quality and just some of the uh, right off the bat quality changes. The feel of these, um, the, the Milwaukee Packout, it's not going to be a surprise to people, but it feels a lot more quality, it feels a lot more sturdy than this. This feels like it's a lot more, you know, softer of a plastic than this. You know, just the buckles by themselves. You have a thicker diameter on the buckle. Um, the hinges are beefier as well as you can see. This is a, a one, two, three, four, five, six. This is a six fort hinge to where this is a one, two, three, four, four. So, you know, smaller diameter. The hinges are a little less beefy as well. Um, and they, they're, it's a little bit easier on this as well. As you can see here. Let's take this one off. Um, it, they, this does have a hasp for a lock right here, and this one has one as well. Now the big difference is, this is lined with a steel washer on the inside, so it's a little bit more secure, but it is just plastic, right? So somebody wanted to cut that, they're, they're going to cut it. Um, taking a look at the outside of it, if we just kind of spin these around here, um, there's, there's not really much protection on this, there's no really uh, protection on the bottom uh, here. This is just a you know plain plastic. Um, it does have handles on the sides, and it does have some you know ribbed uh, protection right here. You know, uh, then when you come to this, this actually has handles that go on the side to where you can you know strap them down. It is reinforced. You can see you know that there's there's a lot of good quality, um, and and it's a really good hard plastic as well that goes on the pack out. These do these do have handles. Let's go ahead and take a look on how this actually attaches. Let me just close these up real quick. How this is attached to another type of, well, you know, another type of pack out, so it would be another toolbox, is it goes in, it slides on, and then you have a little latch right here, and you have a button right here that you pull on. It's very simple, it just slides into place, this uh, locks it into place, and then you're good to go. Um, in front of it, you have a handle that actually locks down. That's actually a, a very well thought out feature that this has a lockdown on it so it doesn't flop all over the place, it stays in place. Now, let's take a look at the Ryobi one. Now, this one's a bit different. So, the entire bottom of this toolbox is um, a full system in itself, and we have a button right here. That button, if you press on it, the teeth move up and down inside, and that's how it latches on to the next toolbox. So the next toolbox goes on, it depresses, and it locks it into place. So this is a mechanical system, um, and it locks into place. You know what? Uh, what is it? Six different? No, no, no. Um, Ten different places that it locks on because it does the sides as well. You know, this this is different. This is new to the industry. You're not going to wear out uh, any of the feet like you would maybe on something like this. 
here, but you you know you do have points, so you're not going to mar those up. This is a flat bottom. Um, only time can tell because this is spring actuated in here. How this is going to hold up? It is a new product. Now let's take some of the physical dimensions on the outside. I'm just going to put these at an angle so we can see them well. Where's my tape measure? Here it is. So this is 20, 23 inches wide, and that does include the bumpers here, to right around 16 inches in depth, and the height on this is right around 7 inches tall. This is right around 23 inches wide, right around 17 and a half inches in depth, and this stands right around six and a half inches tall. So you can see what the exterior dimensions are, the, um, you know, how they stack up against each other. And you know, I think they're pretty comparable, but let's go ahead and take a look on the inside. Oh, uh, and for this handle, this, there is no lock here. This just, uh, you know, just flops down in place. This one is much, much heavier duty. Um, and the over molding is better here, but this does have rubber over molding. It's not that bad. Um, so taking a look in here, let's go ahead and pull the camera in. Okay, so this is how they both came. Um, just like this, you can see on this one here. Let's get a good visual. There is a gasket that goes all the way around um, on the inside of the lid here. I'm just going to center this one. Um, it does have a place where you can put bits. And this would come out of a bit holder or a bit caddy, kind of just like this, you can take these out and you can plop them right in there and they would fit all the same. That way you can always have bits built into here, but you can see uh, this is just reinforced plastic on the back of it. Um, it did come with a couple of trays inside of here. Uh, and if you take a look that there are diamonds here and that's how these lock in. Now on some of the bigger versions of this, they these little trays can actually lock into the side or on a shelf um, and they can lock onto the side. But for this one, they just uh, try to lock in place here. So they just lock into place in there. Uh, but it's pretty wide open. There's not much to it. Now if we take a look at the Milwaukee looking inside, this actually came with some pretty nice organizations. You have a top tray. It actually st stacks on the bottom of a next tray. And this tray has dividers that come in and out just like so, and it actually locks down in place here as well. Uh, let's talk about this one. So this came with a nice box that you can open and close and it has uh, plastic hinges here. So it's like a pencil box or whatever you want to use that for. Um, and then over here as well, you have the same thing on this side. Now what I want you to pay attention to is that these are actually molded just for um, the storage container, so it it's not going anywhere. And you have dividers built into here as well. So then you have areas right here that you can put dividers in. You can put different um, you know storage compartments, and they have a ton of different storage solutions here. But if you look at the top of this one, this is actually a flat plastic. Now this flat plastic um, is to cover up the back of. Um, this right here, so all these keyways. It does, I actually have taken this off and it looks exactly like this. It's just reinforced plastic. There's nothing, you know, really special about it. But as I got to looking at this, it was very thoughtful. The reason why they put this flat area on here is so that all of these open trays, when you close it, well, it actually seals it in. So, you know, none of your bar, uh, bits or parts or anything like that are gonna come out. So. You know, that's really nice to see. And another cool, really nice design area uh, is that you have this really nice heavy duty rubber gasket that's right here. Now I know that's hard to see, but if you do have water that gets into there, right along here, and it may be hard to see, there's little holes. So you have weeping holes in the back, so the water actually gets out of there and it's able to dry up. Um, the plastic inside here feels very nice. Uh, now that you have so much molding inside of here, um, I can say that, you know, it, it's going to have, oh, with all those curves, well, you're going to have a lot more strength. When you look in here, you know, it's just flat. You have more area. 
but let's actually take a look at that. Let's see how much area we actually have. So then when we take it out, you can see it's actually pretty, pretty big in here as well. But we have a tape measure. You get these out of the way. Okay, so the interior dimensions, this is 20 inches by right around 14 and a quarter. This is 19 inches by, well that's only 12, uh, but 13 is the maximum this way here. So, and the depth, see right here, that's right around three and three quarters. And this one here is right around four and a half. So, this one is quite a bit more deep um, and this one is dimensions length times width is bigger here so um, I can say I think that would balance each other out whenever you're looking at this I think the locking mechanisms in here and the organization is far superior than what you would have here so all in all when I look at these two I think this is kind of you know a cross category maybe somebody is just getting into the industry and they can't afford the best type of storage tools I think this will work out just fine I think for homeowners this is absolutely perfect um, I think for professionals um, and for you know even homeowners I think this is probably a, you know pretty much overkill for homeowners uh, but I think for professionals this is this is the most popular mobile tool storage system you know I, I think ever so you know I think they have a huge huge corner on the market for here but these both of these companies Ryobi and Milwaukee they're both owned by TTI so you know they are most certainly going to make this you know towards a certain customer they're going to make this towards a certain customer as well um, I think already this is the biggest mobile tool storage system that has hit the marketplace in terms of residential you know homeowners things like that um, that that's ever came out the versatility of the system from going on walls to you know being mobile is right up there so I think that uh, the Milwaukee really paved the way for it now this is essentially half the price of this and I think in the quality of details that's where you see it the hardening of this system the durability uh, you know the wall thought out, thought out engineering of this it really shows now at half the price, um, I think this is the way I'm going to go because I'm not using this at work. I'm using, you know, other tools. So I would give this a huge thumbs up and I would give this a huge thumbs up for the price point of where this is at. This is a fantastic tool storage system, especially for the real estate you have inside to store all of your tools. I think this is an excellent storage system because A, it is basically waterproof. Um, you know, B, the durability of it is fantastic. Versatility as well. I don't think you can go wrong. If you all are interested in these tools, I'm pretty sure you already know where to get them. But if you don't, well, jump over to thehomedepot.com and you'll be able to check out both of the brands and see their full lineup of tools. I hope that you all enjoyed this video. I hope that it helped you in some way. If you're looking or you're on the edge of, you know, between these two, this wasn't too in depth. It was just a good overview. If you did like the video, please hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe, and I really hope to see you in the next video. Take care, everybody.